Okay. All right, I'm going to show you how to write the equation of the line. They're going to give you a line on a graph, and you have to write the equation of that line. Well, you can't write the equation of the line unless you know the general equation of a line. What is the general equation of a line? Y equals mx plus b. Yes, it's y equals mx plus b. Plus b, it's y equals mx plus b. Plus b, I'm going to write it down, y equals mx plus b. A plus b. Now, three things will stay the same. What are they? The x, the y, and the equal sign. The x, the y, and the equal sign. Bring them down. The x, the y, and the equal. Bring them down. Let's say it with me. Ready, go. The x, the y, and the equal. Bring them down. The x, the y, and the equal. Bring them down. <coughs> that leaves two holes. One yeah and one yeah. And you just fill in the hole. We have to know what the M stands for. What does the M stand for? Slope. Slope. So, slope is defined as? Rise over run. Rise over run. So what's the first step to getting my rise over my run? Picking two, um, two points. Picking two points on? Corners. Corners. Thank you for the interruption. Hold in Blankenship. If you are in the building, please report to the auditorium. Now, the two points have to be as close together as you can, because if you don't, you're going to have to reduce. Let me show you what I mean. If I pick this point that's on the corner of a square, and I pick this point that is on the corner of a square, and I drop my bomb in the turlet, and I go over to make it and draw my, make my right triangle, my rise over my run is going to need reduced. Watch this. I'm going to count my rise. It's rising. Ready? Go count. One, two. Three, four, five, six. six. A rise of six. Could you pretend you're a frog sitting here and you're going to jump? How many jumps would the frog have to jump until he gets to the top of the triangle? Now, how many jumps would the frog have to jump to get the run? Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six over nine, they're both divisible by three. Three into six goes two. And three into nine goes three. So you would get two thirds. Now, you could have gotten two thirds a lot easier without reducing if you pick the points and just pick them as close together as you can find them. So let's erase this, which we don't want to do it that way. We do want to do it, whoa, <laughs> this way. We're going to pick, <coughs> let's see, this way. Let's see. This one. Those are better because they're closer uh, together. And then you drop a bomb in the turtle and make your triangle and see it smaller. Smaller is good. Now, slope is defined as? Rise over run. Rise over run. How much is my triangle <laughs> rising? Two. Two. How much is my triangle running? Three. Three. There's my slope. Two over three. See, it's quicker. Now we're forgetting one thing. Let's see. What is it? Um, is it a negative or a positive? Is it a negative or a positive two thirds? Well, how are we going to figure that out? <coughs> Write your name on the line. Write your name on the line. See if it's going up or down the hill. Mark. Am I going up or down the hill? Down. Down. So it's a negative two thirds. And that is what our slope is, and that is what we put in for which letter? M. The M. So it's negative two-thirds x. Now I'm going to get my plus b. Now notice I don't put my plus sign yet because I don't know if it's a positive number or a negative number. You have to know what the b stands for. If you don't know what it stands for, you can't do this problem. <laughs> the videographer has his hand up. That's why I'm laughing. All right, so what does the b stand for? The b be the y intercept the c. The B be the Y intercept the UC. I said the B be the Y intercept the UC. Now I'll say B and y'all say Y. Ready? B. Y. B. Y. So the slope is, or the B be the Y What's the Y? What is a Y intercept? Tell me so I know. The point where the line crosses Y. Louder, please. What is a Y intercept? Tell me so I know. The point where the line crosses Y. Yo, yo, it's the point where the line crosses Y. Yo, yo, it's the point where that line crosses the y-axis. Now, which axis is the y? Is it the one going this way? Or is it the one going this way? Well, the y's up high. 
but not on drugs. We're high on math. So it's the y is high. This is the y. And it's the point where the line crosses the y. So where does this line cross this line? What? Well, it's right there. Now, is that at positive 3? No. Is it at negative 5? No. It's at negative 2. Negative two. So our y-intercept is negative 2. Now, when you say it's a negative 2, you just put down take away Two. So, the answer to this question, write the equation of the line. The answer is y equals negative two-thirds x minus two. That's the answer. And it's a wrap. Kill it.